Hey guys, I'm going to show you today how to take your axis apart and use them as two single pedals instead of one double. Uh, I've already done this before. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm just going to show it anyway because I don't think anybody's ever put it up on YouTube. Uh, today I got these Demon Drives that I'm going to be using for this kit, which I had these axis for uh, set up on that kit before. So now I'm going to put those back on my drum set over there and I got two bass drums so hey kitty so I'll be able to set them apart first thing you want to do is take off the uh, fuck it would help if I remember what it was called the drive shaft I believe it's called and I'll try to keep it in frame as much as I can Go to the other side. Shit. So far we've taken off two of those. And obviously if you want to learn how to put them back together, just do the opposite of this video. Alrighty, now we got the two pedals. Uh, if you guys are want, you should. It's 2020. You should most likely know what these are. These are the uh, Axis um, tr E triggers, E kit triggers. I just don't want to bend that real quick, so I'm going to fix that. Now that there's no leverage on there. Now let me pause this real quick. Alrighty. So I don't want this bending that, but this is only if you have those on this pedal because it comes down. I just don't want to fuck up my settings, so I'm going to put that there. Like I said, that's not required unless you have the E-kits. Alright. Now we're going to take off these two screws. Kitty. Pain in the ass with one hand. Uh, let me find somewhere I can put this down. There we go. Probably should have taken the spring off first, but that's okay. Uh, just, I would take it off first. Uh, so that's my first fuck up.
Alright, the reason why that flew off like that is because I have my spring tensions extremely tight. So, if I were you, I would definitely take the springs off first. So that was my first fuck up, but that's okay. It just fell right off, but that's normal. So, basically it was on there before. I take it off. Okay. So far we have the two screws that we took off from the drive shaft. And another two screws which we took off from that part right there. So I got those two screws. Next thing you're going to want to do all the way, uh, by the way, I should have lowered my spring tension before I did this. Again, I'm rushing to make this so I can put this on YouTube and put out my, my new pedals and put these ones on the old kit. Um, so next thing you want to do is take this beater off. So it stays on. Next thing you're going to want to do is take the spring off on the left hand side. You're gonna keep it on the right hand side. Yeah, I really should have done that spring first. I feel like a retard now. spring tension all the way. Uh, put it on here. This will go on the bottom. My spring. Gotta find my spring real quick. Alright, so the spring is on the back of that. Fucking up again, guys. Let me take that off. So this video should teach you what and what not to do. And so far, there's a lot of not to do. That's the wrong key. Hold on, guys. some music. So, for victory by Bolt Thrower. Nearing the end of the song. Alright, let me turn the music off now. That was stupid. Now I got the spring off. Oh, dropped something. Get your washers. Ew, it's all hairy. Nasty. Right, I'm gonna actually have to figure this part out on my own real quick. It's 
been a little bit since I've done this. From what I remember, I think I might have to take the trigger part off and switch it. Give me a second, guys. I need to remember what I gotta do. So it looks like I fucked up again. I was not supposed to take that part off. I was supposed to take this part off. So let me re-put that back on. Just do it by hand. Alright, so I put it back on. Don't mess with this black part yet. Which is... That part. Don't touch that part. You want to touch this part. Give me one second. Alright, ready? Take this off now. Slides off like that. I'll show you like before. It was on like that. Take it off. Should look like this now. And then, I'm going to put that on like that, and this is the part where I have to re-put the spring back on. It can be a real pain in the ass if you have your spring tension very high like I do. I'm going to put this on. It'll leave a little bit of room if you have uh, triggers on there so it's not going on there. So, from what I remember, I actually had it flush to where this was. Yeah, but like I said, if you don't use the e kits, don't worry about it. I'm going to tighten that up. Alright, it's on there nice and tight like a toyga. Let's see this. You definitely don't want to get your ball sack stuck in that spring. That would hurt really bad. Alright. Got some doggy action out there. So you get your spring and hook it. This is going to be the worst camera angle video ever. Hook it on there. Fuck. Alright, so during when I did that spring thing, it kind of flew out, so I looked at my other pedal, and you can see on my shitty phone, this part goes first, and then in between to the left, the spring goes, so the spring is going to go in between that part. Focus piece of shit. Okay. So it should go like that. So let me tighten that up. Ah. Might just have to name this video, Idiot Tries to Show You How to Turn Axis. Fuck! I fucked it up. Idiot tries to show people how to make axis pedals in the two pedals. It might be the uh, title. Okay. I gotta pause it. Alright, so I got it hooked on. As you can see, shitty camera. So now, put that spot in there. See, that's moving around. So, my other one 
Looks like the screw was on the front. I'm gonna try to do the same. I flip it over. Alrighty. First comes the washer, which put one on the other side as well. Did I? I don't even know, guys. I'm lost. Shit. Alright, I found the washer. Put the washer on. just gotta this part can be a little tricky especially if I'm trying to do it while I'm doing this at the same time okay so we gotta oh fuck I remember doing this stupid shit probably doing this a way that it could be way easier but I'm just It's got to be a way easier way to do this, but if you know so, do it the easy way. I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to pause it real quick. After trying to get that thing on, you could see those indents on there, but I got it. What I did was just push this part down. That, even though I can't do it anymore, and then I got that on. Like I said, there's probably a way easier way to do that. Just don't remember how. So I'm just gonna tighten this up. Uh. Fuck. I just tightened it the wrong way. Great. Let me do that again. Okay, guys, I got it back on. I feel like an idiot again. This time I'm going to do lefty loosey, righty tighty, obviously. So this part depends how much you like your spring tension. For now, you can always just put it on a little bit and then mess with it. Me, I like mine all the way tight. I'm going to put this phone down for a second. Alright, so I've got my spring tension maxed out how I like it. <sighs> Looks like... Now I can just mess with my, um, you can see how that one I have on like that. This one's a little straight. You can mess with that by taking, uh, loosening this. Be careful. You don't want to take that off because the spring will fly out just like I did. You'll have to do what I did again. So just unscrew it. Don't take it off to the side. From there you can uh, mess with the, the distance and everything like that. See if I can show you guys what I mean. Yep, just like that. So, like mine at, uh, I'm gonna have to try to get it as close as I can. Probably around like that, if you can see. Tighten, boom. So it's a little closer. That is pretty much it. That shows you even an idiot can do it. Alright. So the parts you should have left should be this. You got the two screws that go through here. And you got these two screws that go to your drive shaft. Alright guys. 
have a good one and keep your ball sack away from the springs because uh, it's very painful.